What's up you guys, thank you for clicking on this video. So as you can tell by the title, we have some more leaked info to end off this week on this fine Sunday of ours. Uh, it's been, <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are freezing out there. Uh, me personally, I'm catching a little bit of it myself here in Florida, but not too bad. It's in like the 60s today. Uh, but anyway, uh, <laughs> I don't know why I mentioned that. But this first thing here comes from JT Prime 17. This is going off of the three pack yesterday, which by the way, a lot of you guys, you know, corrected me and had to make it known that it's actually a GoBots three pack and not Diaclone. I'm sorry about that. That is my mistake. But anyway, um, he says here, I've seen some confusion elsewhere on the GoBots three pack, so I'd like to clear some things up. Yes, there'll be eHobby decos from what I've seen slash been told. Smallfoot has a new head that looks to be based off G1 Gear year's toy head design the set should be out this august 75 dollars msrp uh, like i said in yesterday's video i'm not too interested in this three pack but this is some cool info you know finally getting that g1 gears uh, toy accurate head sculpt so probably at some point down the line we're going to be getting that mold in the gears color scheme from the g1 mini bot figure uh, so that's pretty cool. That's probably the biggest highlight out of this three pack is getting that head for gears. Definitely, I'd say. And now getting into basically the meat and potatoes of t today's leaked info. So somebody by the name of Techman on the TFW boards, I guess his friend had a chance to see some of the new 2024 Legacy United figures and he gave a description of what his friend said about these figures and I'm going to read it to you guys give you guys, give you all my thoughts on it as always. So this is what he said a brand new molded G1 Optimus Prime designed in G1 style while more of using modern design language to recreate that G1 toy. Deluxe size cab, slightly smaller than G1. Not sure if there's a trailer. Oh, by the way, this is the deluxe class G1 Optimus that is coming out in wave three of this year. He's not talking about the Studio Series 86 Commander class. Just figured I'd uh, clear that up. Um, he says, yellow light piping eyes, better articulation, except fixed fists, can't swivel. Sounds like an upsized legend slash core class Optimus, but he's sure that's not an upsized version of the old figure because the head, chest, and belly all resemble the G1 toy. And then he goes on to say, no, it's definitely not Missing Link because he saw that too. Takara's Missing Link seems like 95% newly molded, but feels like someone kitbashed the G1 toy with more joints in a good way. So that's kind of what I basically expected with a deluxe class G1 Optimus, you know, sort of going for that uh, G1 toy accuracy while also modernizing it for 2024. So it seems like it's going to be a pretty decent outing for another <laughs> G1 Optimus again. But yeah, it seems pretty decent. And then moving along, we have some even more crazy leaks here. Uh, he says his friend saw a new Springer, way bigger than the previous Legacy version. Sandstorm feels a little bigger than Springer. The head is a little weird. It's separated from that helicopter tail rotor thing like the toy, but squarish and no mouth plate like the S3 cartoon. Cybertron Vector Prime, ooh people, Voyager remold of Legacy G-Axis, oh my god, all new upper body, lower legs remain the same, front end of the all mode is disappointingly too short. I'll give you guys my thoughts on that in a little bit. That's pretty crazy. Uh, Cybertron, Starscream, Voyager, awesome looking, walked out of, walked out from the show. Flip out blades on both shoulders, not blaster on one side. Cybertron, hotshot, alt mode, looks like a shrink down version of the old toy, but kind of new transformation. Arms aligned on the bottom of the vehicle. Comes with a tiny little detachable force chip. Core, G1 Bumblebee, but the alt mode is not so beetle like. Wait a minute, core class? Oh, I'm assuming the A level, that's, okay, so this Bumblebee is for Studio Series, just to clear this up, this is the new A level size class that they're introducing later this year, I guess, for Studio Series, and I don't know if they're going to do it for regular generations, but interesting, we're getting another G1 Bumblebee, hopefully it turns out good. Uh, and then the last thing here, he says, Core G1 Steel Jaw, the head finally has thick lion mane by two parts folding up to make up the volume. So, that is all that this person said. So, going down the list here, Springer, 
not much to go off of there other than him being a little bit bigger. Sandstorm being bigger than Springer, that's interesting considering they're rumored to be based off of the same mold. Um, with Sandstorm, no mouth plate. That would have been nice, you know, to give him that that different look to his head. But I don't know. I don't really mind that too much. And plus, I'm not really the biggest G1 Sandstorm fan. I'm more of an IDW Sandstorm guy. But hey, that's just me. And now moving on to. <laughs> Oh man, Vector Prime. I don't know. I mean, this is just some random person's d description online, so I'm not going to take this face value. Uh, this is somebody else's opinion, and we don't even know if this is true or not. So, But just going off of this and basing it off the sheer fact that this is 100% true if it is, I don't know, man. A Jixus retool and the alt mode s somehow getting messed up proportion-wise a little bit. I don't know, man. Uh, like, you would think this would be an easy home run for Hasbro. This Vector Prime figure, the way he's designed from the old one and his design in general from the cartoon being based off of the toy almost down to a T, it should not be a hard release, especially in this day and age with how great they make some of these Transformers figures from Hasbro. Uh, so I'm hoping that this turns out great, but some of this, some of these details here do not sound too great if you want a definitive modern era Vector Prime figure. So I don't know how to feel about this. Hopefully this is just somebody else's personal opinion and this guy actually looks really great. But who knows, time will tell. We're going to be seeing this guy fairly soon in the next few months, I'd say. Uh, but Cybertron Starscream sounds like he's going to be one of the more uh, demanded ones for this year, similar to Armada Optimus, if he really is as good as this person is describing him to be. I'm really excited for this guy. He's probably one of my favorite Starscream designs of all time, right next to the Armada design. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this, and I'm really glad that at least somebody out there, a Transformers fan, is liking this new Starscream. Now on to Hot Shot. It seems like he's about what you would expect for a deluxe class, especially for the Cybertron iteration. Doesn't seem like there's anything too crazy going on, but it does sound like it's going to be a pretty faithful and at least a decent update for a Cybertron Hot Shot based off of his sports car design, not the you know Cybertron defense look that he had later on in the show. So uh, nothing really to be mad about there. Hopefully, I like him. Me personally, when we when we see images of images of this guy um and then the core class g1 figures for studio series while bumblebee is more so a the a level he's not really core class a level is supposed to be in between deluxe and core so i'm assuming this is going to be where they're going to put mini bots going forward well at least some mini bots i don't know that i'm assuming they're testing the waters with that but Hopefully, this Bumblebee actually turns out good, because uh, I wasn't really a fan of the Earthrise, and the Saucer Bumblebee, in my opinion, once you take off the kibble, that is the only definitive modern-era G1 Bumblebee that we've gotten, uh, so hopefully this is good. And then Steel Jaw sounds pretty promising. Uh, I'm not really into collecting the cassettes, especially for Blaster, but this does sound like it's going to be a pretty decent core class release for Steel Jaw here, but... But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. All the info that I found today for the leaks. Uh, these were uh, brought to my attention by TF Universe 16 on Instagram. I did not find these myself, so shout out to you for letting me know about this stuff, bro. But uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know down in the comments below what do y'all think about these leaked infos that we got today, people. All my social medias are linked down below. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. My email is also down below if y'all want to hit me up about business inquiries or if you want to message me about whatever or if you want to commission a diorama from me because I make dioramas for people for their stop motions, photography, or just regular display shelves in your homes. You can either hit me up on any of my social medias or just email me and we can work out a deal. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.